One of the reasons to use the character core is to create a common language. Leaders know that for you to be able to cast a vision and to be able to create expectation and get people motivated about things, there has to be a common language that is used to create that sense of culture within your organization. And that's why the character pieces are so important. So it's easy to talk about common language, but how do we build that language within our organization? We have found that it takes two things, time and resources. Currently, if you're having a monthly meeting, we ask that you take about 10 minutes of that time to talk about character. Once you start having those regular conversations, the expectations of character will be a part of your culture. Number two is resources. We provide you with both print and digital resources that you can utilize to make it easy to talk about character within your organization. So with both time and resources, you will intentionally change the culture and shape your organization. Before we implemented the program, we had good culture already. I think this just added to an already good culture. And one of the things that I think was in our mind is we wanted to continue to improve on that culture. Not that we didn't communicate well before, but from a character standpoint, the, the language has gotten a lot better. The vocabulary that everybody uses, being able to point out strengths and weaknesses uh, without people getting on the defensive. It's not as if our company didn't have character before. It just gave us a, a way to talk about it. Character has become the common language here at Lock Supply. Our associates are aware when people show character, when they display their character. They'll send emails and phone calls to let us know when somebody shows initiative or flexibility. So they're very aware of what's going on, and it's just the common language. In a lot of our conversations, character traits come up and are, are used, and since it's kind of been on everybody's mind, uh, if something negative happens, sometimes the, the topic of character comes up, and we're reminded that we need to have good character when we deal with our customers and with each other. So yeah, it's definitely kind of change the language a little bit. The signs that we've put up throughout the warehouse were part of another process we were in. Jimmy and all of our warehouse associates came up with the great idea of labeling all of our aisles with character vocabulary. Several people had ideas of how to incorporate all this. Every sign that designates a zone or an aisle in the warehouse has a character word at the top of it. Because it brings the awareness to character, to where everybody can look at the different vocabulary words and we can focus on them. Every time you turn down an aisle, you you have the opportunity to see one of the character words or character traits. If anything, it's a constant reminder. No, no different than, than what's on our walls in here and what we've done in our, our meeting rooms and in Tammy's office, for example. It's a constant reminder, hey, you know, this is who we are, this is what we're about. This is important to our culture. And we've kind of told the world that that's who we want to be, so uh, we're being held to that standard.